Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Well, it's Christmas Eve, and I thought I'd wrap up our holiday-themed drawings with the main character from the 1983 Disney classic, Mickey's Christmas Carol. And no, I'm not talking about Mickey, who played Bob Cratchit in the special. I'm talking about Scrooge McDuck, who, of course, played Ebenezer Scrooge. Just as a side note, you don't see many babies named Ebenezer these days, do you? I wonder why. So a little background on Scrooge McDuck. He really made his mark in the world of Disney comic books, first appearing in the 1947 story Christmas on Bear Mountain. He didn't appear in animated form until the 1967 short Scrooge McDuck and Money. Anyways, if you haven't seen Mickey's Christmas Carol, you should. It's beautifully done, filled with many characters from the Disney universe, and certainly will get you in the holiday spirit, okay? Before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow, and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. All right, so let's draw the star of Mickey's Christmas Carol, Scrooge McDuck. We're going to draw Scrooge step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the whole character is. Scrooge McDuck is four heads tall. In other words, however tall his head is, his entire body is four of those, not counting his top hat. One other thing. Drawing a duckbill can be very tricky. I use something I like to call the duckbill equation to master that upper duckbill lip thing. It goes something like this. This plus this plus this equals this. Again, this plus this plus this equals this. Remember that as we go to shaping out Scrooge's duckbill, okay? So let's draw the roadmap for Scrooge McDuck. So there's our roadmap for Scrooge McDuck. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help you to know where to put some of Scrooge's features. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing, so you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily, okay? So let's rough out the features for Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so there are the roughed out features for our Scrooge McDuck. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details of the crotchety old Scrooge McDuck. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work to figure that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. Always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. Okay, so let's draw in the details for Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> And that's how you do it. There he is from the Disney classic Mickey's Christmas Carol, Scrooge McDuck. So how do you think you did? Understand if you've never drawn Scrooge McDuck before, or any duck for that matter, then you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. You'll notice I don't spend time coloring Scrooge during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. But now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Scrooge McDuck and the Duckbill equation. And with that, you can draw him again and again. And by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So I'd love to see your drawing of Scrooge McDuck. If you can, post it on either Facebook or Instagram and don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah and keep drawing my friends.